tonight we are going to uh, get ready to make some brisket and this is a two day process because I, I do a dry rub and I like to rub to actually work itself into the brisket before I actually cook it this brisket right here is about three and a half pounds I have an ounce of brown sugar half an ounce of salt and this mixture is cumin paprika little cayenne some mustard and some Italian herbs and a little bit of pepper. These all will get mixed in for the rub, like so. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. Okay, we'll come over here. I really like to work it into the meat. Don't be afraid to press it on. Pretty much covered. I'm gonna add a little bit more on. Just finish it off. Now what'll happen is as this as the salt works its way into the meat and the rub, it actually brings all those other flavors in deeper into the meat. And that's why we do it the day before. It gives it a little bit more time to actually work in there. This takes a little bit of time. And when I cook this off, I will end up cooking it off at about 250 for anywhere between four to six hours depending on when it actually breaks down enough that it's nice and it basically just falls apart so this will go in here and then we will cover it with the tin foil and let it sit the overnight day. in the fridge and as you can see the uh, brisket has been uh, doing some work the salt done some work in there that's the juice that extracted out from the salt, so all that flavor is now going in through the fibers of the brisket. I'm going to cook this with the uh, fat side up because that fat is going to soak into the, into the meat and add flavor and keep it from drying out. We're also going to slow cook this. It's going to be 250 for five to six hours. The slow cooking is going to cook it all the way through, but it's also those the... the uh, connective tissue that holds those muscle fibers together is going to end up breaking down and adding more flavor and more softness to that to the brisket itself when it come, when it's finally done it'll be nice and just like fall apart good and now we go in here we have the finished brisket quick cut into it oh yeah look at that you want to give it a few minutes to rest before you cut into it. This has been rusting about 10 minutes. It looks nice. It looks crispy on the outside, but that inside, nice and tender, just falls apart. That's the brisket.